So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hardened Basilisk set specifically for the Titans. If you guys have not seen my Hardened Basilisk armor review, I'll have it up right now. Uh, again, we go through the armor set. We go through how it shaders and my personal thoughts on it. And I also talk about like a few things here and there that I will be talking about in this video specifically for the Titans. But if you guys want to see the full armor set, go check that video out. Uh, Hunters, you already had your video. It's right here. If you guys haven't seen it, I these are one of my favorite sets that I've made in the game so far. So I highly recommend Hunters to check that out. Or if you are from other classes, just check it out because it, it is really, really cool and I would appreciate it. But other than that, yeah, we're going to be going through the helmet, arms, chest piece and boots. We don't go through the mark because I think the mark is very basic and not unique enough to make a whole armor set around it. Even though it looks cool, it's just I have other marks that look exactly like that. So that's why I'm not really too excited for it. So for the first one, we're going to be looking at the helmet. Obviously, this one is probably my favorite set. I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, if it comes to Doomfang Pauldrons, it's probably going to be my favorite just because I feel like Doomfang Pauldrons just looks amazing. So for the shader, we're using Amethyst Veil just because I want to get purple in there because obviously the Doomfangs, uh, specifically the horns, they don't change color. So you are stuck with purple. So the only piece that I'm not using purple is Warbrick specifically because the Psionic Strangler Greaves takes shaders really terribly. Uh, if you guys don't know, I talk about it in the Psionic Strangler Armor Review, which I'll have it up right now if you guys haven't seen that. But specifically, uh, this armor set takes a lot of off colors for the Titans only. I, I wouldn't say only, but Titans really see the brunt of it. For the boots, obviously, Warbrick is what I'm using. And you guys can see that I'm using it's taking like black and silver. I go through it in more depth in that video. So I get again, I suggest you watch that video. But needless to say, I wanted black in there because Amethyst Veil is just black and Warbrick was the best one for this, even though there is a lot of silver in this. The chest piece we're using Virtuous Plate. Uh, I will get to why in a bit. Psionic Strangler Grease for the boots. I already said this, but Bulletsmith's Iron Mark specifically because I like how bulky it looks. So the reason I'm using Virtuous Plate with Hardened Basilisk Helm is because I like how the shape of the Hardened Basilisk looks with the Virtuous Plate. It looks like it's almost made for it. It looks so cool, especially in the back, which is why when I first saw this helmet, immediately I was like, I'm going to combine it with the Virtuous Plate because it's going to look cool. And I was right. It looks super, super cool. Just be aware that the Hardened Basilisk Helm has a really weird tick when it comes to the shader on the helmet so that shader as you as you guys can see the glow is way darker than amethyst veil on the dark in the on the virtuous plate not only that but the color will actually uh not flicker but it'll change so for example it'll go from like a dark pink to like a really like desaturated pink because it's almost like the color is going down from the visor so it is unfortunate because it is kind of annoying, but it also is kind of cool because it, it gives the helmet a little bit more uniqueness, I guess you would say. But just be aware that it, that is some that is something that this helmet does, and it also takes off colors of the shader you're using. So, for example, again, Amethyst Veil is usually a very pink shader. Uh, for the helmet, it's just it purple. It's like super dark pink, and it's really weird because I'm ne I've never used seen Amethyst Veil have that dark of a pink. So. This is probably one of my more favorite sets just because of how amazing it looks. Not saying the other ones look bad. If anything, the other ones are super dope. But for me, this set is just a set that I'm like, I, I would wear this and I will wear this uh, when I'm using Doomfangs. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Hardened Basilisk Gauntlets, specifically with Lorelei Splendor. So my thought process when it comes to this set was pointy. I want pointy armor sets because the hardened basilisk gauntlets is very pointy the shoulder shoulder pads have points to it the arms have pad like pointy pointy bits to it there's so many pointy bits in the arms that i was like fuck it let's just let's just lean into that so for the obviously for the helmet lorelei splendor i think this one was an easy choice just because there is a lot of pointy bits in this even though you don't see a lot of it the sides or the skirts on the helmet that, that's pointy the actual fire in there there's actually pointy bits in there as well, aside from the fire just being pointy. As for the shader, we're using Gambit Celadon just because the Gambit Celadon 
has an orange glow to it but i would personally probably just use another shader with this you just have to be aware that the glow on the lorelei splendor does change color so just be aware that you should get a shader that has an orange glow to it uh, carminica is another great example of a shader that will change into gold or orange just be aware that it's a red and for some reason people just have issues with red it's edgy i don't know i like it eat my ass for the boots we're using Nimi and greaves specifically because the knee pads are super pointy and the Florian mark I'm, I'm just using it just because i like it and i didn't want anything in front uh nothing too crazy to think about that one i just wanted something that wasn't too big and looked kind of edgy so this one i don't have much to talk about just because i mean it speaks for itself a lot of the pieces that i chose are pointy uh for the chest piece technosaurus plate was an easy choice just because there's literal fangs in there and overall yeah i really like this set will i use this over the lorelei splendor look that i already have probably not just because the first one that i made just looks amazing and i look like a warrior if you guys haven't seen it i should have the video that i posted it right here if not i'll just show you a picture i'll probably just both either way i really like that set a lot more than this set but it was more of a like you can do this set if you want but i'm gonna use this set instead because i really like it so titans let me know what you guys think as for the next set i ended up deciding to go with a fiery look so for this one it's kind of funny considering that the last one i was using lorelei splendor this one could have been could i could have benefited more using lorelei splendor with this look but i also wanted to have like a minotaur look so like a fiery minotaur defending like something that's like the my mindset when i went into it because the hardened basil is chest plate i really didn't have anything like in mind for it and when i put celestial Hel helm on that i was like "Ooh, this looks really cool and tight smoke there is two glows to it there's a white glow and then there's an orange glow the orange glow is coming up on the celestial helm which immediately made me think what if i do like a fiery uh like a minotaur look where i'm trying to defend something and that's where this idea came up so radiant breaker for the gauntlets is an easy choice just because the fire is coming out the pyretic footfalls ornament for for the path of the burning steps was an easy choice as well uh actually path of burning steps i think it's called not path of the burning steps even though that makes more sense and the apilos following mark was an easy choice as well this one was much more of a like a like a, sp a spur of the moment type thing because i made this pretty quick and i really had no plan with it again the chess piece i actually was trying to go in with a tactical look but i decided against it because the next set i actually made a tactical look with it even though it's not my favorite but i do think this set looks fucking cool like i actually think this set looks really really cool and with the piratic footfalls you definitely want a, a mark that has that's on the side because the piratic footfalls you guys can see the right leg has fire on the hip the left leg doesn't have as big of fire so at that point you can actually just cover up the left side so that way it doesn't look stupid which is why i'm using the apilos falling mark uh for the shader tight smoke was in like again i chose that one just because like i was going through shaders and i rarely ever use tight smoke even though i like the shader and i just decided to go in so like for me kind of looks like a decrepit minotaur that's still on fire so this one was more of a head kind of head cannon type thing but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and last but not least we have the hardened basilisk leg plates this one i'm conflicted i i think i like it but at the same time i feel like we just need more pieces that the titans need that are more tactical so helmet gn uh ornament for the one item mask was an easy choice just because it looks scary <laughs> that's really it for the arms intrepid exploit gauntlets was an easy choice just because that's my favorite arms uh when i want to retain my titan to look a little smaller uh the tm cogburn custom plate was an easy choice just because the bags and the ammo belt just made it an easy choice but the other reason why i'm using it is because it looks really good with the hardened basilisk plate leg plate because as you guys can see the leg plate actually has a lot of cloth underneath the plate armor so i wanted to retain that look of like there's there's actual clothes under there it's just a big plate armor that's covering that for the mark we're using the moonfang x7 mark just because it's probably one of my more favorite sets to put on especially if I want something low key and nothing too crazy. I will say it's funny that I'm using three shaders that have some sort of green in there. I did not plan that. This one, on the other hand, I did plan on making green just because 
This will go up on my playlist shaders video that I am planning to make soon. And I really like how this came out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think it looks super, super cool with the shader. I love the texture that the the shader gives to cloth. This like triangle texture looks super, super cool. I'll go in more depth with in the shader video, but overall, I really like this set. So Titans, that's really it. I only did four because again, the mark I don't think is good enough. And that's that's literally the only piece I didn't use. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I will say uh, the boots is probably one of the more hard sets to make a set with just be I will say the boots are probably one of the more troublesome pieces to make a set with just because we don't have a lot of pieces that really look good with it. I mean, to be fair, the the Cogburn custom plate looks really cool with it. And even I would even say the chest piece from the first Gambit armor set would look really cool with it, too, even though it kind of just looks the same. But it, I'm more speaking about the arms. I think the arms, we don't have a lot of good tactical arms, unfortunately. And the one that we do have, I don't like it because it just looks like I have two trains on my my chip, my arms, like specifically my shoulders. And I don't think we have a good like if I'm being quite honest, I don't think we have a good ornament or even exotic that looks tactical that looks good with the legs because the few that we do have has really weird clipping issues so yeah let me know what you guys think which piece did you like the most let me know in the comments below i am really excited to start posting some of the content that i have planned because i have been having a lot of fun making these armor sets uh more so because you know the api is still down unfortunately and i don't want to play destiny because the api api is down i will also have a video discussing that very same situation and why dim is important and very much needed and also why it kind of shows bungees uh, i don't want to talk about it i don't really don't want to talk about it because i'll get mad but yeah i will be making a video discussing that be safe and i will see you guys later